distinguished guests, my fellow veterans, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I'm pleased to be here in this wonderful city. It's a beautiful venue. You've also got probably the tallest mayor I've ever seen. <laughs> I feel very secure with all these veterans around me and with uh, a member of the Marine Corps on my right flank. Thank you, Gunny. Many years and about 40,000 Heinekens ago, I was a young infantry officer in Vietnam. I recall being in country for about two weeks when my unit was ordered to conduct search and destroy operations along the Cambodian border. We were working a particularly thick patch of jungle when I heard firing break out on the point. I ran to the head of the column and found that we had made contact with a platoon-sized element of North Vietnamese regulars and a pretty hot little firefight developed. We were exchanging gunfire and lobbing hand grenades at one another from close range when Amidst the noise and chaos, I saw one of my young squad leaders stick his head up from behind a fallen log and yell out, Ho Chi Minh is a son of a bitch. <laughs> from the other side of the hedgerow, a North Vietnamese soldier yelled back, Lyndon Johnson's a son of a bitch. <laughs> that young squad leader turned to me and he said, Cease fire, sir, they're Republicans. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bill Malden, a veteran of World War II and Pulitzer Prize winning cartoonist and author, wrote in his book up front, when you lose a friend in combat, you have an overpowering desire to go back home and yell in everybody's ear, this guy was killed fighting for you. So keep him in your mind when you wake up in the morning and when you go to bed at night. Don't think of him as a statistic that changed 38,788 casualties to 38,789. Think of him as a guy who had hopes and dreams, who had families who loved him, and who wanted to live every bit as much as you do. Don't forget him, ever.